More than two years after Hillary Clinton refused to answer some of Judicial Watch's questions about her email server, a judge is stepping in to make her comply. One America's Kara McKinney has the latest on the lawsuit. A federal court rules in favor of forcing Hillary Clinton to testify about her email scandal. Judge Emmett Sullivan made the decision Wednesday in response to a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit brought by Judicial Watch. The conservative watchdog group wants to make Clinton answer important questions about the creation and use of her private server. The last time Clinton testified about the issue under oath, she skipped 20 out of the 25 questions presented by Judicial Watch. We also went back to the court and asked them asked Judge, it's Judge Sullivan, Judge Emmett Sullivan here in the District of Columbia. We asked him to uh, require Hillary Clinton to answer questions she refused to answer, specifically, if I recall correctly, that she did not want to answer questions about why she continued to use and conducted uh, her, uh, used personal devices and uh, her email system despite warnings from security officials. She didn't want to answer that question. That was back in October of 2016, just weeks before she lost the presidential election. Other questions include Clinton being asked if she was ever warned about her private email account violating federal record-keeping laws, or if she was ever told about possible hacking attempts on the unsecure server. It's also interesting to note the former Secretary of State refused to say if she ordered the destruction of thousands of emails which had been subpoenaed by Congress. This has led many to believe there was a cover-up. So her lawyers will be in court arguing over this issue of whether she'd had to answer the questions we had put to her that she's objecting to. But isn't it remarkable that it's Judicial Watch, the one that is doing this? The Justice Department isn't? The State Department isn't? Congress isn't? Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton explains his legal team is busy drafting up a new set of questions, which Clinton will have 30 days to provide written answers to under oath. Kara McKinney, One American News.